This is the fourth Devo in our series on brilliance and it's called Glorious When. So another word for brilliance or brilliant is glorious. Of course, this word is used in worship songs. It's found many times in the Bible. It sounds regal, doesn't it? When someone exclaims that something is glorious, it enraptures us, elevates us. It's a word that's so descriptive of something so fine and exquisite that we can't describe it. It's mentioned a lot, but we're gonna go back to the story of Moses, you know him, after he and the children of Israel crossed the sea where they were pursued by their enemies who drowned behind them. And they began to sing a song. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider he threw into the sea. What a show of the glory of God when he parted the waters and invited his people to walk on dry land away from the enemy, the enemy that was then destroyed behind them. What a glorious triumph. Think about sports, which is everywhere in our culture. Think about a win. If the score is close, we wouldn't say that we triumphed gloriously, but maybe more like we won by the skin of our teeth. If we pass an exam barely, it's not a glorious triumphant grade, but rather one that might cause us to sigh in relief that we barely made it. Triumphing, triumphing gloriously is nothing short of miraculous. Maybe it would be a huge defeat on a field where a team just literally smashed the other one and won by a big margin. Or it might be passing a test with flying colors, even amazing ourselves at what we knew and how we knew ever and every answer on the test. Glorious triumph. To be glorious is to be brilliant, and the glorious one is the God we serve. Moses' song continues to describe God and his triumphant gloriousness. Pharaoh's chariots and his men were sunk. Floods covered them and they went down like stones. The enemy was shattered. No small margin of getting by, but God destroyed the enemy in a big way, a glorious defeat. In verses seven, it says, the greatness of your majesty or brilliance is that the adversaries were overthrown. Imagine a wrestling match where one opponent is thrown to the ground, pinned down and never to rise again. They keep singing and in verse 10, they say the enemy sank like lead as God blew with his wind. And then they ascribe all the glory to God, awesome indeed and wonder. And again, it's a description of our brilliant creator. After the song of Moses, Moses' sister Miriam began to sing. She took her tambourine in her hand and all the women went out after her dancing. And she said, sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and rider threw into the sea. It's so important for us to see the greatness of God and his glory. He's not a God that helps us barely win. He slaughters the enemy. I love listening to sportscasters and all the verbs they use when they describe a win when they're de describing the scores. Slammed, slaughtered, defeated, smashed, smeared. You've heard them. This is the essence of what we're reading here. We realize the glorious triumph of God and how he defeats everything that pursues us. He's brilliant in his wins. In fact, he's already defeated our biggest enemy, death. He conquered it and gave us eternal life. But all the skirmishes we have daily, he also triumphs gloriously. And we need to realize that no enemy can stand at the blast of his nostrils as he sends the winds to drive back those that dare to come against us when we are en route following our God. So next time you feel defeated or pursued, start using all the adjectives you can think of to ascribe the glory of God's triumphs in your life. Start with A and go through the alphabet. He defeats, he throws, he sinks, he shatters. In other words, he causes the enemy not to just retreat, but to disappear for good. As we follow Christ, there will be threats and taunts, but he has triumphed gloriously for us. And he, we would do well to remember to sing of his victory in our life as we see our enemies fall, flounder and fail in the presence of the God who wins, triumphs, and leads us on safely to dry land.